question is like, how do the events of the big Marvel movies, like for example, season one with the Winter Soldier, and how that changed the game of the show? Mm -hmm. How does how does that affect you guys? Right? Are you made aware of those big events like beforehand? Like how does it affect you guys? Yes, we I, we we Winter Soldier was a especially uh, large impact on our show. Uh, so we, you know, so we, we knew going in uh, that that was going to happen. And, you know, if you look at season one, the whole thing sort of constructed to not say the Hydra word through the first 17 episodes. So we had all these disparate bad guys that didn't feel connected, and then we realized it's all kind of one thing because we could not say spy amongst us. We couldn't say hi, we couldn't say mole. Um, but so that was sort of the most direct tie-in. In terms of the other movies, uh, you know, as we've been talking about, they they make them over a much different time schedule than we do. So. Well, we'll write something and it's going to air in a couple months. So when we sometimes we'll pitch them our story idea, they're like, "That's a great idea that we're doing in two years." <laughs> you know, sometimes so, ten years. Uh, yeah. So yeah. so we part of our job is to navigate what they are doing, what they are planning to do, sort of connecting them where we can, or filling in gaps where we can, or reading between them. And so uh, it's part of the challenge of the show. But you know. We believe that great story comes from a puzzle, and so we always put ourselves in it. It's, a, it's just a good puzzle, and so some great story has come out of some really tight situations that we couldn't uh, couldn't figure out another way out of. So. I was actually going to comment on that, which is that I've noticed as the seasons have gone on, your story, your story arcs have gotten smaller and smaller to like eight episode pods, which, by the way, I think is brilliant yes. because it has made that story just flow, and I've totally loved it. And I cannot understand how you were making. This get more fantastical with each pod that's going. Like, what's how? I, I don't know what to say. Like, how do you think of this? That's a stupid question. But how do you navigate that? Like, you got to do bigger and better than we did in the last pod. Well, we have a. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about the brains we have around us. We have a really good staff of writers. Uh, you know, we get to, stick, to sit on stage and we get to, you know, wave and take credit. Um, but you know, a lot of your favorite stuff was, was those people just sitting in a room trying to impress each other, trying to make each other laugh. And so at the end of every year we say, okay, what have we not done? You know, how, what have we not done? You know, we haven't done space. All right, let's try that. You know, and so uh, that we're trying to cover new ground and we, and we reinvent the show a little every year. And, and uh, you know, but I, I would have to say that a lot of credit has to go to those brains who sit, they sit in a room all day and just trying to think of stuff they want to see. Um, they don't get enough credit and probably because we don't say this that we're saying right now <laughs> enough times. We just go, oh, you know. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Thank you, thank you. You're so brilliant. Yeah. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that both of you are in Lemon Cases? Yes. Yes. It's, it was a fi it was a fan. A fan, fan gave it to Jeff Ward because he gives lemons to he puts lemons on Daisy's bunk in season oh, five. Oh yes. <laughs> I, did, I did not miss the connection. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're wearing we're them in solidarity yeah. with Dee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bronx just reminded me. A letter. A letter. Mm -hmm. Can you put a letter? Yes. Do we get to know what's in that letter? Um, it, it'll play into it, but I don't know if we'll actually read the contents, because our belief is the letter that you're imagining in your head is better than one we could ever write. Yeah. Less is more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, pot arts, we talked about that a little bit. Um, is that something we are going to see going forward? And do you think other superhero shows should adapt uh, the pot arc, the smaller story arc? Um, because we're a smaller order, we, we aren't naming our pods like we've done in the past. You know, we use that that concept to break up a story for us in the writer's room. And you'll feel it if you watch, there'll be more of a shift and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, sure, people can adapt. We think everybody should try that. Everyone <laughs> should follow our brilliance. They should do what we do because I 100% agree. <laughs> but it's helped, the shorter order has helped us think that that's a smaller... Uh, Truthfully, it's just been helpful in the creative process of the fact that it works for the audience. Right. You can sort of cut it in half, which gives yeah. us two pods, or however we want to think of it, but it helps us. 
it's easier to yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so we uh, we've been enjoying that. It's 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 added a little bit of pep to our step, I think, in terms of generating story. Yeah. 